Lines written in early spring by William Wordsworth. Talking about uh, William Wordsworth, you can see he was a major English romantic poet. Lyrical ballads, a collection of poems written by William Wordsworth and Samuel Taylor Coleridge made him a major figure in the literary circle. He became poet laureate in 1843. His famous works include Daffodils, Lucy Gray, and The Prelude. In simple, ordinary language, Wordsworth presents nature as an antidote to the corrupting influences of society. He is known as the poet of nature. So that was about the poet children. Next, we will... I heard a thousand blended notes while in a grove I sate reclined. In that sweet mood whence pleasant thoughts bring sad thoughts to the mind. To her fair works did nature link the human soul that through me ran, and much it grieved my heart to think what man has made of man. Through primrose tufts in that green bower, the periwinkle trailed its weeds, and tis my fate that every flower enjoys the air it breathes. The birds around me hopped and played, their thoughts I cannot measure, but the least motion which they made, it seemed a thrill of pleasure. The budding twigs spread out their fan to catch the breezy air, and I must think do all I can that there was pleasure there. If this belief from heaven be sent, if such be nature's holy plan, have I not reason to lament what man has made of man? So this was the poem, children. Coming to the poem. This poem is written in Six quatrains. Quat what is a quatrain, children? A quatrain is a stanza with four lines. See here, there are four lines here in a stanza. And in this way, we have six stanzas. One, two, three, four, five. See, five and here one. So coming to the explanation of the poem, children, uh, I'll be using a little bit of uh, Malayalam also in between because uh, the very same video will be forwarded to the Malayalam medium students also. So if they don't understand anything that I'm uh, trying to explain, then there is no need of me taking the class, isn't it? So I'll be using a little bit of Malayalam also in between. So please uh, forgive me for this. So shall we start? Okay. I heard a thousand blended notes while in a grove I sate reclined. So what did the poet hear? Who is the I here? I is the poet here, poet himself, William Wordsworth. So he heard a thousand blended notes. Blended, what is the meaning of blended children? And then blended, the mixed sounds or music. Where is he sitting? He is sitting in a grove. And how he is sitting? He is, he sat reclined. Reclined means? Okay. So he is very relaxed. He is relaxed. He is sitting uh, in a grove. Very relaxed. And while he is sitting there, he is hearing a thousand blended notes. Clear children? Okay. And in that sweet mood, when pleasant thoughts bring sad thoughts to the mind. So, what is the mood of the poet here? It is very sweet and pleasant. Okay. And even in that pleasant mood, in that pleasant thought, what is coming? Sad thought. 
ഒപ്പം സന്തോഷിച്ചിരിക്കുകയാണ് അതിൻ്റെ ഇടയ്ക്കും എന്തലട്ടുന്നുണ്ട് അദ്ദേഹത്തിന് എന്തോ ദുഃഖകരമായിട്ടുള്ള ചിന്തകളും അദ്ദേഹത്തെ അലട്ടുന്നുണ്ട് സോ ലെറ്റ് സി വാട്ട് ഇസ് ഡിസ്റ്റർബിങ് ദിസ് പോയിറ്റ് ഈവൻ ആഫ്റ്റർ സിറ്റിംഗ് ദർ റിലാക്സ്ഡ് വൈ ഹി ഇസ് സോ സാഡ് സി ചിൽഡ്രൻ ടു ഹവ് ഫെയർ വർക്ക്സ് ഡിഡ് നേച്ചർ ലിങ്ക് the human soul that threw me ran what is that mean to her fair works who is her here it is none other than nature see he has given human quality to nature so avade endana it is personification human quality is given to nature to her fair works did nature link apa fair works what is fair works children good deeds self pravarti അപ്പം നേച്ചർ വിത്ത് ഹർ ഗുഡ് ഡീഡ്സ് ഹാവ് ലിങ്ക്ഡ് ഹ്യൂമൻ സോൾ ദാറ്റ് ത്രൂ ദ പോയറ്റ് ഓൾസോ റാൻ അപ്പം പോയറ്റിൻ്റെ ആത്മാവിനെ എന്തുമായിട്ട് ബന്ധിപ്പിച്ചിരിക്കുകയാണ് ത്രൂ ദ ഗുഡ് ഡീഡ്സ് ഓഫ് നേച്ചർ ആൻഡ് മച്ച് ഇറ്റ് ഗ്രീവ് മൈ ഹാർട്ട് ടു തിങ്ക് വാട്ട് മാൻ ഹാസ് മെയ്ഡ് ഓഫ് മാൻ സോ ഹിയർ ദ നേച്ചർ ഇസ് ട്രൈങ് ടു ലിങ്ക് human soul with her good deeds but it is very much grieving the poet that is a poet in very much dukkham thonugiyana adu adhehathine vedanipikkana hridayate vedanipikkana endine vedan endina vedanikkunnathu manushyan what man has made of man nature itratholam nammale nadna salpravartiyilude bandhipikkan shramikkumbol nammal manushyan endanu cheynathu we are we are destroying her okay now through primrose tufts in that green bower the periwinkle trailed its wreaths and tis my faith that every flower enjoys the air it breathes through primrose tufts what is primrose children primrose and periwinkle are two spring flowers that is സ്പ്രിങ്ങിൽ മാത്രം പൂക്കുന്ന രണ്ട് രണ്ട് തരം ഫ്ലാസ് ആണ് പ്രിംറോസ് ടഫ്സും പെരിവിങ്കലും ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് ത്രൂ പ്രിംറോസ് ടഫ്സ് ഇൻ ദാറ്റ് ഗ്രീൻ ബോവർ ബോവർ വാട്ട് ഇസ് മീനിങ് ഓഫ് ബോവർ ചിൽഡ്രൻ ബോവർ മീൻസ് എന്താണ് വള്ളിക്കുടിൽ അപ്പം ആ വള്ളിക്കുടിൽ നമ്മൾ ഒരു പാട്ടൊക്കെ കേട്ടില്ലേ ഓള് ചിരിക്കാം വള്ളിക്കുടിലിൻ യെസ് ദ വെരി സെയിം വള്ളിക്കുടിൽ through primrose tufts in that green bower the periwinkle trailed its wreaths appo primrose chedigal koppam aarum undu periwinkle is also trailed what is trailed children aa ee penanju vananju poi irikkana it's a creeper appo valanju polanju endinde endinde edey kuda kadakkana primrose tufts neka ina neeriki ange kadakkana okay it is not it is it is very very close it is hugging each other it looks like it is hugging each other okay so a or green bower le both flowers are there and what is it creating it is creating a wreath of flowers both the flowers they are creating a wreath and it is my faith that every flower enjoys the air it breathes and even in this situation they are so tightly blended together but still they are enjoying every flower every flower is enjoying the air it breathes i show you the picture of uh, periwinkle and uh, that primrose tufts see this is the picture there see uh, the yellow flowers they are primrose primrose and uh, see the blue ones they are periwinkles so in this picture see they both are there isn't it അപ്പം ഇത് ടാങ്കിൾഡ് ആയിട്ട് അതായത് എന്താണ് നമ്മൾ കുരുങ്ങുക എന്നൊക്കെ കുരുങ്ങി കിടക്കുക എന്നൊക്കെ പറയില്ലേ സാർ സോ ടാങ്കിൾഡ് ആയിട്ട് കിടക്കുകയാണ് സോ ട്രെയിൽ ചെയ്ത് കിടക്കുകയാണ് വളർന്നിങ്ങനെ പടർന്നു പോയിരിക്കുകയാണ് സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് പെരിവിങ്കിൾ യു ക്യാൻ ഹാവ് എ വ്യൂ ഓഫ് പെരിവിങ്കിൾ ഓൾസോ ഹിയർ സി മെനി ഓഫ് യു മൈറ്റ് ഹാവ് സീൻ ദിസ് ഫ്ലവർ ഇസ് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് പ്രസൻറ്റ് ഹിയർ ഓൾസോ yes okay okay now coming back to our uh, 
class children okay yeah okay through primrose tufts in that green bow uh, the periwinkle trailed its wreaths and it is my faith that every flower enjoys the air it breathes so every flower is enjoying the air it breathes understood children if any doubts please ask me okay after the class the birds around me hopped and played see eniki chuttumulla birds endu cheyana they are hopping and playing kundi chaade kalikeka cheyana they are very very happy and their thoughts i cannot measure avare chindagal i cannot measure because they are so happy there but the least motion which they made it seemed a thrill of pleasure but least motion or cheriya chalanam polum avare cheriya chalanam polum endine kaanikunu that they are very much thrilled and they are very very happy there okay children next stanza the budding twigs spread out their fan to catch the breezy air see the budding twigs have spread out the fan here also the nature it is uh, a human quality is given to the twigs here isn't it the budding twigs budding twigs and then what is budding twigs children tender branches that is mala tali relagal nokka parayilla it's the same okay the budding twigs spread out their fan app end end spread il nikkana avrude avrude branches ingane spread edu nikkana endine pidikan to catch the breezy air ha air ne pidikan ait ingane fan ait ingane elagalakke virichu thali elagalakke ingane nivarthi pidichu nikkana what the budding twigs and i must think do all i can that there was pleasure there avadeem endund it is pleasure there this budding twigs are also very happy and thrilled if this belief from heaven be sent if such be nature's holy plan have i not reason to lament what man has made of man see if this belief from heaven be sent if such be nature's holy plan have i not reason to lament what man has made of man if this belief from heaven be sent from heaven has sent a message it is a belief from the heaven if such be nature's holy plan nature and the holy plan endana coexistence ana എല്ലാവരെയും ഒരുമിച്ച് ചേർത്ത് സന്തോഷിച്ച് കൊണ്ടുപോവുക എന്നുള്ളതാണ് നേച്ചേഴ്സ് ഹോളി പ്ലാൻ ആൻഡ് ദിസ് മെസ്സേജ് ഇസ് സെൻറ്റ് ഫ്രം ഹെവൻ ഈവൻ ദ ഗോഡ്സ് ഈവൻ ദ ഹെവൻ ഇറ്റ് വാൺസ് എവറി വൺ ടു ബി ഹാപ്പി എവറി വൺ ടു ബി ലിവിങ് ടുഗെദർ ഹാപ്പിലി ബട്ട് ഐ ഹാവ് എ റീസൺ ടു ലമെൻറ്റ് ദ പോയറ്റ് ഹാസ് എ റീസൺ ടു ലമെൻറ്റ് ഹാവ് ഐ നോട്ട് എ റീസൺ ടു ലമെൻറ്റ് what man has made of man see here nature is trying to coexist but what is human trying to do humans are trying to destroy the nature so see man is a creature who has destroyed nature as well as he himself he is not at all satisfied with anything he always tries to destroy the peace of others he is not happy and won't allow anyone to be happy until and unless we humans are satisfied and happy with what we have we will be destroying nature and even our happiness is it clear children so that is the explanation of the poem now coming to the poetic devices used in the poem the figures of speech used in the poem so poem has used a certain uh, figures of speech and poetic devices to improve the beauty of the poem like we all do isn't it 
we all wear bangles, bindis, earrings, necklaces to present ourselves in a beautiful way, don't we? In the same way, the poet has used some poetic devices to beautify the poem. So, shall we see what all things he has used to decorate the poem? Yes. See, children, the first line, I heard a thousand blended notes. I heard a thousand blended notes. I hope you all might be familiar with visual images and auditory images. Isn't it? In the 8th standard as well as in the 9th standard, you might have come across visual images as well as auditory images. So, here there is an auditory image. I heard a thousand blended notes. So, we did an auditory image of the. Then, I heard a thousand blended notes. Or I is that possible? Like we say, I saw a thousand at a glance. Is that possible? No, that's an exaggeration. That's why we call it hyperbole. Hyperbole is what I'm saying. I'm not going to study it, but I'm going to study it. I'm going to study it. I'm going to study it. That is far too impossible. So, it is a bit exaggerated. That is why we say hyperbole. Now, we have two things. One is hyperbole. Two is the auditory image. Okay, children. Now, coming to the next line. While in a grove I sat reclined. Upon Namak visualize to kitana ela images of Indianiana. It is visual image. Clear children? Okay. Now uh, look at this um, rhyme scheme. Okay. First line I heard a thousand blended notes. A reclined thoughts mind. Rhyme scheme akirzan ari lela kum. If not, please put a personal message. I will be explaining how to write a, a rhyme scheme. Okay. Okay. Now here, first and the three and the third line, the last words of the third line, rhymes. See? Notes, thoughts. Notes, thoughts. Padugunda, A, A. Now, reclined mind. Reclined mind. So, B, B. So, what is the rhyme scheme of the poem, children? Which is A, B, A, B. Clear, children? The rhyme scheme of the poem is A, B, A, B. So, here we find uh, three things. What are they? In the first stanza, auditory image, then hyperbole and visual image. Now, coming to the second one. See, children, second one. To her fair works did nature link the human soul that through me ran, but and much it grieved my heart to think what man has made of man. Again, to her fair works, nature Nature is being given a human quality. Nature nindu quality anu human quality personification All right. Abam abda personification naan paachila markeyiri and uh, coming to the last line, see, what man has made of man. Uh, I, I think you are familiar with uh, alliteration. So, man has made of man. See, I have, I have underlined all those three words. It starts with M, M, M. So, it is repeated. Uh, it's a consonant sound that is repeated. So, it is alliteration. Again, the rhyme scheme of the poem, it is A, B, A, B, link, think, ran, and man. Clear children? See the next one. Through primrose stuffs in that green bower, the periwinkle trailed its wreaths. So primrose stuffs, green bower, it creates a visual image. Isn't it? When you read the poem, you are able to see that flower. You, have, you are able to see that those stuffs, those, uh, that grove and all. So that comes under visual image. The periwinkle trailed its wreaths. And then they say they were just trailing. 
അല്ലേ പടർന്നു പോയിരിക്കുകയാണ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഓൾസോ എ വിഷൽ ഇമേജ് നൗ കമ്മിങ് ടു ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ലൈൻ ചിൽഡ്രൻ ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് മൈ ഫേത്ത് ദാറ്റ് എവ്രി ഫ്ലവർ എൻജോയ്സ് ദ എയർ ഇറ്റ് ബ്രീത്സ് ഹിയർ ഓൾസോ സി ദ ഫ്ലവർ ഇസ് ഗിവൻ ദ ക്വാളിറ്റി ഓഫ് ഹ്യൂമൻസ് ഹി സെസ് ദാറ്റ് എവ്രി ഫ്ലവർ എൻജോയ്സ് ദ എയർ ഇറ്റ് ബ്രീത്സ് സോ ദർ ഓൾസോ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് പ്രസോണിഫിക്കേഷൻ ആൻഡ് ആ ലൈനിൽ തന്നെ നോക്കിയ ഫെയ്ത്ത് ഫ്ലവർ ഫ ഫ സൗണ്ട് റിപ്പീറ്റ് ചെയ്ത് വന്നിരിക്കുകയാണ് കോൺസെൻറ്റ് സൗണ്ട്സ് ഫ ഫ അറ്റ് ദ ഫ്രണ്ട് ഓഫ് ദ വേർഡ് വന്നിരിക്കുകയാണ് റിപ്പീറ്റ് ചെയ്ത് വന്നിരിക്കുകയാണ് സോ ദർ ഇസ് അലിറ്ററേഷൻ ഡെ ക്ലിയർ ചിൽഡ്രൻ ഇസ് ഇറ്റ് ക്ലിയർ ന കമ്മിങ് ടു ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് സ്റ്റാൻസ് ദ ബേർഡ്സ് അറൗണ്ട് മീ ഹാപ്സ് ആൻഡ് പ്ലേറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് അഗെയിൻ ഇസ് എ വിഷ്വൽ ഇമേജ് അതിനെ കാണുകയാണ് ഈ ബേർഡ്സ് ഒക്കെ തുളിച്ചാടിയൊക്കെ അത് നമുക്ക് വായിക്കുമ്പോൾ തന്നെ വിഷ്വൽ ഇമേജ് കംസ് ടു അ മൈൻഡ് അല്ലേ നമുക്ക് അതിനെ ഇമാജിൻ ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുന്നുണ്ട് സോ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് വിഷ്വൽ ഇമേജ് ദർ തോട്ട്സ് ഐ കെ നോട്ട് മെഷർ ബട്ട് ദ ലീസ് മോഷൻ വിച്ച് ദ മെയ്ഡ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ഇൻ ദ ഫിൽ ഓഫ് പ്ലേജർ അഗെയിൻ പ്ലേഡ് മെയ്ഡ് മെഷർ പ്ലേജർ സോ അഗെയിൻ റൈൻ സ്കീം എസ് എ ബി എ ബി the coming to the next stanza the budding twigs spread out their fan to catch the breezy air the buddy twigs spread out their fan and the visual image and other spread it in the night and I'm gonna imagine here but also that comes under visual image and uh, as I told earlier see budding twigs spread out their fan to catch the breezy air here again it uh, human quality is given to the budding twigs they have they are spreading out their fan and they are uh catching the breeze and all so uh, human quality is given to the uh, tricks okay so personification now rhyme scheme again see look at the rhyme scheme fan can air there so again the rhyme scheme is a b a b the last uh, last uh, see the last two lines to the children that's a question it's a rhetorical question asked by the poet he is asking a question to us have i not a reason to lament what man has made of man so it is a question it is a question for the readers like what man has made for man think about it what man has made of man and we all as human beings should lament on what man has made or what man has done to the nature and himself here again children the rhyme scheme is a b a b need not worry i'll uh, put a table of all these poetic devices okay so you need not worry about that now uh,